Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the Shop. It is about 75 degrees in here and it is about 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, it got warm today outside about 75 for the high. Sprinkled a little bit last night, but I got my yard mowed for the first time. Uh, I hooked my old push mower. The little Briggs and Stratton motor. I showed a video last year, I think, doing that. I just pulled behind the garden tractor and mowed because I had sticks and little branches and stuff I didn't want to take my good mower over. So I went around and around with that tied behind there, which it did a fairly decent job. It's just the first mowing, but I got that done. So I'm happy I got the mow once. Okay. Today is Saturday. Friday was the third. It was my birthday. This is what I got. Two birthday presents I'll show you. Uh, make sure I keep the other one over here. I can grab it. This is what this is. This came from a Menards. Same as Lowe's, Home Depot, but it's Menards. It was under $10. I know for sure. Uh, what this is, they say it can be used as a money clip. I guess I could show you the back. I'll just pause on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. For anyone interested. Just you can always pause your computer. Okay, enough of that. Now we can throw that away. Okie dokie. Nice little utility pocket knife. Got people playing on lawnmowers, goat carts. The other day we had a mini bike go up down the alley. So, pretty nice little knife. I like it's got this where you tell yourself don't slide past there the blades there. But, uh, most utility knives you get about that much blade use. So I did a little bit of wood carving with this. It is pretty nice. Uh, for what it is. It's got the lock on it. Okay. Kind of stylish. You know, it's pretty cool. Stainless. Uh, you take this the screw out. You got to take it all the way out. To change the blade or turn it around. Kind of a weird blade, huh? I've used it. It's not perfectly clean, shiny like it was. So There you go for that. So that, that was a pretty nice little thing. And gifts like this I take care of more than something I buy okay then I also got these I've been wanting these I mentioned these in a video they're made in Hiawatha Kansas another pause if you want to read it you get a 1 32nd a 2 32nd and a 3 32nd of an inch we all know 2 32nd is 1 16th here's what's so neat about these I didn't notice these when I first got them it took me a it took me a while to get to figure it out. It is a nice little pouch. It's a little bit hard to get them out, so I might as well show it on camera. You gotta kind of fidget to get them out of there. Okay. That's stamped in there. This is like laser engraved. Okay. The 132nd. See the knurling? Okay. We'll put that down. Making sure I'm right. Two thirty seconds. See the two knurled lines? And 3.30 seconds is three knurled lines. I thought they were more like black oxide coated. I always thought they had a little tip instead of a whatever. But you could use this and where it's indented and make very small brass rivets. I made a punch one time by taking a Dremel tin and then carving it out. And I could make little small brass rivets. I was repairing a pocket knife. But those are very nice. I mean, kind of hefty. But I figured they're pretty good quality. And I have some that I don't even want to show you. I got them at Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight ones are covered in plastic and they're squared. When you cut the plastic off, the plastic is square. It's not the metal. So it's just a round shank with a fake rubbery coating and they make it look squared. So I ain't kind of embarrassed to show them. But I got them for a different purpose. But I use most of these. Most of these, uh, like this one, when I play with my rope, when I'm doing my stuff with the rope where you do that splice thing, it's, they're called like a fid you can buy, but to poke around and get knots and different things. So they're not just used for setting nails. They'll probably never be used for setting nails. Anyway, that's that. Pause on the company here. You pronounce it. Wildy or Wildy? And I'll even pause down around the company and the website. I don't get paid to show you this, but you might like them. You might be interested. You might want to look see what the company has. Okay, enough of that. 
here's something I made, okay? We'll bring back the awl. If you haven't seen the video of that, that's a 3 16 drill bit. I've already bent it. So it's not as tough as what you think it is. I'd rather bend it than break it. Here's my latest addition. I think this is 12L14 or whatever. It's, it's the kind of metal that has lead in it. I forget those numbers. I'm sure it is how good it machined. There's a few machining lines in here. But this is all like freehand machining. It's like when it was chucked and laid this way, I just threw the ruler out there and put the Sharpie marker. You know, I want, I want some grooves here. They're not exact. Uh, the taper. When I tapered and turned, turned to put the taper on it, going this way, and then I took like some 60 grit sandpaper and actually ground in here. Maybe if they kind of make a transition right there. So it's all more or less freehand and sand and then polished with my polishing compound. But how I did this bit is, to where I cut it off, about, so the same here. I ground this with my diamond wheel. Okay, on my little old sewing machine grinder thing. Because you're not going to grind this very... I can't believe I hacksawed through this. It took a while, too. I had a Lennox blade. So, it's a pretty hard steel and just mild steel. So, that's how I did the Phillips part. Ground this down, okay? Like about 3 16 which was bigger than this part. Bigger than this part. Then put it in my vise and pressed it. So, I have copper jaws. So, this was actually embedded in the copper. And this was back at the other copper jaw and cranked it in and shoved it in there. So I don't think there's too many screws I remember I put this on and this would come loose. But we'll make sure to leave me a nice picture of that. And then probably just one more side by side. So I may make a straight one. I did find a piece of metal. So show you some small things here. Okay. We'll take a break. So I can have a drink. Some cold soda or something. And we'll come back with just one more thing. It won't be that long of a video this week. I, I trust me, it's not going to be. I just wasn't really prepared. I've all been busy today. I should have did it Friday. Made my video. But we'll think of something else to show you interesting. So stay tuned. Okay, one more thing before we go for the day. I bought these back when I got my buffing wheels and stuff. We'll pause on the item number. In case you're interested these are just for wood believe me i tried them on aluminum <laughs> i did uh i want to use my thing where i converted those old cordless drills where you can hold it in your hand y'all remember that tool i did my truck rims with because with a drill it's just too hard to control on wood uh, i did a little wood carbon with this one uh, I mean, these are cheap i don't think they're well, that expensive well i cannot even tell you what Just a rotary rasp. I mean, they're not as aggressive as my antique old rusted out rasp, but it will back off. Sometimes up here is too close. This one has a little sawdust residue, but we'll take them all out. That's what we'll do. Let's just get them all out of the take them all out of the package one at a time we'll just go through them real quick here's a little round one okay there's that and then there's a difference see one has more of a tip there's a difference in these two size and how the tips are made I think they're kind of weird how that's hollowed and then this is like a round nose yeah, I'd like to have something like this, like carbide or something for metal in an air die grinder. Boy, I'd be carving up all kinds of stuff. But I have felled them before and had them out. It's almost like this one feels a little sharper than, like, say, this one. It could just be me. But there you go. I'll snap a picture of these out of the package. Like I said, if, if you're interested, I mean, you can look them up on Harbor Freight. You might find these on like Amazon or somewhere, uh, some different brand name, but there you go. Just neat little wood brass. Someday I'll do some little project. I'll carve on some wood and then we'll, because I'm not a wood carver. You know, I don't make no figurines or no carve no wooden ducks or nothing, but I might make something out of wood someday and uh, then show you which bits I use. So we'll snap a photo of these right when we're done here. I want to thank you all for watching.
and tune in next week i might be having more content because i'm gonna be outside doing more if the weather clears up uh i said we've had snow uh this morning or last night we had snow that was not too many hundreds of miles away from me up there at the top top of the midwest so uh it may be spring but it ain't spring everywhere in the u.s so thanks again we'll see you next week